What's good everyone? Welcome back to Newcom's YouTube channel. Today we have a really interesting, one-of-a-kind and unique uh, USB hub for you. It's called the USB-C Modular Mini Dock 11-in-1, not the most elegant name by J5 Creates, but I promise uh, what's inside is really unique, even if the name doesn't really do its justice. So, let's open it up and whoops, we don't actually have a look at the inside. And uh, the reason for that is probably because it comes with a hard carrying case, so that wouldn't really look too exciting to look at, as great of an addition as it is. So, you only get this, whereas with other J5 Create hubs, you actually do get a look inside what is uh, inside the box. But anyways, Let's not cry over it and open the box. I don't have my usual knife with me, so um, this will do. That is nice. That is a nice carrying case. There's yeah, there's nothing else in the box. But boy, this is nice. And actually lighter than I expected. Let's open it up without any further ado. But man. Whew. Anyways, alright. So this is what you get. Some uh paperwork to read when you're I don't know when you're not when you're not able to sleep or something, but I do actually have to probably get back to this. Uh, I I know the technical specifications of the ports, uh, but if I have any questions, yeah, I, I do have to refer to this. So I, I won't just throw it away just yet. But uh, let's see what you actually get in the box. Um, first of all, it's all right. Uh, it's not you. You don't just throw it in there. There's a spot for each of the modules and the main module itself. So, uh, this is the main module uh, that is connected with one of the USB-C ports on your MacBooks. Uh, any MacBook from 2016 onward will do. Alright. So, with the main module of this hub, you get a USB-C input, uh, which you can actually use to charge the device. And you also get a couple of USB 3.1 Gen 1s. On the box, it actually just says uh, USB 3.1 port. But uh, that's actually not the right way to refer to USB 3.1. Because the USB forum is uh, not the best at naming things. Because, well, uh, USB 3.0 was what we had in the beginning before we had USB 3.1 but when USB 3.1 came came around and doubled the speed they also changed the name of USB 3.0 to be called now USB 3.1 Gen 1 and the new and improved USB 3.1 is now called USB 3.1 Gen 2 which is at 10 gigabits per second so thanks to USB forum uh, but uh, this is USB 3.1 Gen 1, which is uh, rated at 5 gigabits per second. So there's that, and you also get an HDMI 1.4 port here. Uh, even though it doesn't say the, uh, the standard of the HDMI port on the box, it says this port uh, supports uh, 4K at 30 FPS. Right? And I know that 4K at 60 FPS is uh, HDMI 2.0, so this is HDMI 1.4, which means that the maximum uh, f frame rate that it can give you at 1080p is 144 hertz, uh, and I would assume I don't know the, uh, the the refresh rate for 1440p, but I assume it's gotta be 60. So 4K at 30, 1440p at uh, 60, and 1080p at 144. Uh, but let's take a look at the other module. That also is HDMI and you know the other uh, display outputs before I get into the one that is already connected to uh, the main body so this is another HDMI out that connects to well you know either the, the magnets here or the other side 
you, you can connect it however you want. But this uh, gives you, this is actually HDMI 2.0. It says that this gives you 4K at up to 60 FPS. So that means 1440p at uh, 144Hz and 1080p at 240Hz. All right, so this is a better USB port, better HDMI out than the one that is on the main body. And uh, you also get, whoops, that's strong. You also get a mini display port that is capable of the same, the same output, 4K 60, 1440p 144, and 1080p at 240. Uh, but you won't get the same standards with the VGA port and, uh, well, you know, understandably so. VGA is pretty outdated, it's just here for compatibility reasons. Uh, sometimes you're in a pinch and you only have a display port, uh, you, you only have a VGA capable projector. Uh, this one can only give you 1080p at uh, 60fps. So not the most capable video out solution, but it's there when you need it. Alright, now so these were all display outs, now we have two other modules here. Uh, one is Gigabit Ethernet with LED indicators about for downstream and upstream uh, validation. So, really good that, it, that it's there. And you know, of course, Gigabit Ethernet means that it can handle speeds of up to 1 gigabit per second. So, that's the Gigabit Ethernet dongle that, again, can be connected to either side or both. I mean, like, you can have something, this kind of combination for you and... Uh, this one is a USB 3.1 Gen 1 certified or 3.0 certified, whatever you want to call it, uh, micro SD slot and an SD card slot. And this is where the strength of this uh, USB hub lies. It's the modularity of it. And of course, there's also the cool factor. Uh, you could have just, you know, pushed all of these together and had a bigger dock and, you know, more capable at any given time. But that would be too bulky, number one, and uh, maybe useless for some, and the, the bulk would not be justified then. But it gave you the modularity of it, and there are a couple of benefits that come from it. Number one, you can just take this with you, which is smaller, more portable, you don't have to take this carrying case with you wherever you want to go. You can just take this with you, or you can just take this one with you. How cute is that? You just pop this in your... I don't know, your, the, the pocket of your bag, or even the pocket of your jeans, and uh, you have a fully functioning, really small, and also very fast uh, USB to micro SD or SD card adapter. Or, if you just want to use a display port, and you don't want to use the, even the USB ports, you can just take this with you, and just connect this to uh, one of the USB-C ports on your on your MacBook or any other device, but you know you really should be getting this for a MacBook because this combination this doesn't work on any other laptop. So if you if you don't have a MacBook, don't get this. Even if you can get uh, get a use out of the different modules, it's just there's just no point. The whole point of this package. Is to be able to do this and connect it to your laptop if you don't if you can't do this what's the point so yeah if you are a macbook user you have so much flexibility you can you know add some extra ports to both ends of it and get like well some ethernet and also you're able to connect the, the the sd card that you use on your camera the possibilities are endless there are literally 12 different combinations and the and J5 Create really wants to uh, show you that oh there, there are 12 different combinations. Okay, it's not on on here, but it's it's here. Where, where was, yeah, there are 12 combinations of magnetic connection kits. So they really want to present this as a really flexible uh, USB hub, which is completely true. I mean, you can connect three displays to your MacBook with this. You can connect it like so. There's an HDMI on this side and you can you should probably use the mini display port if you have the right cables but VGA is probably more readily accessible I don't know it depends on the cables that you have depends on the monitor that you have uh, but like this or like this you can actually get up to three displays connected to a single MacBook that's pretty neat not gonna lie so yeah it really does give you a lot of flexibility uh, 
it's it's a really cool idea that the carrying case is just the cherry on top it's it's really well made honestly and it's it's tiny and cute it's not very thick so if you have a macbook and uh you need all sorts of different ports but at different times and maybe not necessarily all at once this is as good as it can get but not only that not only does it give you the kind of flexibility that no other uh, usb hub uh, is able to provide you it does it in style and does it with a really cool a really unique uh, modularity idea like you know mag how many magnets have you seen in any other usb hub zero yeah that's what i thought uh so you can connect modules at both ends it's really cool i don't even need to talk about it but i did so um Make sure to check it out if you're interested uh, at, uh, you know, a retailer near you. And I hope that this video helped you make a purchasing decision. I really like this one. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if this is the kind of videos that you like to watch, you know, computer peripherals, USB hubs, mice, keyboards, monitors, and all sorts of stuff, uh, make sure to give Newcom a follow, a, a, a subscribe. And um, if you really liked it, hit the notification bell. And of course, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.